Hello and welcome back to Richard Bulls Delicious Gets Wrong at Tsuji. Today we have another set of intermediate problems, starting with problem number 343. Black is looking to capture the white stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's move is to go here, and if white pushes, then black blocks. If white tries to cut it off, then black will just Atari the stones. Uh, if white tries to push down, then black will Atari and then connect. And now these stones are not going to live. Uh, if white does something like this, black just connects again. Uh, if white tries to make an eye in the corner, it doesn't matter because white just doesn't have enough liberties to live. If black just pushes down, then white will honey and now white is connected to the outside. Even if black tries to wedge first, uh, white's move is just to connect. If black descends, then white will cover on top and now these stones are going to die so white is still connected. Uh, so black's move is to pull back here, which allows white to connect underneath. Moving on to problem number 344, Black is looking to connect his four stones in the corner to the two on the outside. What is Black's move to do this? Black's move this is the ninth move here, and if White tries to disconnect it by, say, Atariing first, then Black can connect. Uh, if White tries pushing, Black will just cut. So White needs to pull back, and then Black can connect here. And now he's still connected to the outside, White cannot honey here because Black will just cut. If black turns here, then white extends, and if black tries to honey to maintain the connection, then white can wedge. Black can't Atari from this side, so black would need to Atari from this side, which means white can come back and connect in Sente. Problem number 345, black is looking again to connect his stones in the corner to the outside. What's black's move to do this? Black's move is to play here. And if white tries to resist, then black will cut these stones off, and now they're going to be captured. Even if white gets all these free moves, um, white is still behind in this liberty race. Uh, if white uh, honeys here, then black and Atari. So white's better move is to let him connect by pulling back. Uh, now black is linked to the outside. If black tries to honey, then white will go here, and now black is not connected to the outside. Um, if black comes back, then white will connect, and now black is going to have to struggle to live in the corner. Moving on to problem number 350, black is looking to settle these two stones. How does he do this? If white tries pushing here, then black will just follow a little bit. And if then white cuts, black will pull back. If white first starts going here, then black will Atari from this way, and it reverts to what we just saw. Problem number 356, black is looking to kill these three white stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's move is to hit the head of these two stones with a move like this. If white honeys, then black cuts here. Um, and from here, white will Atari the stone. Two stone tower to Suji, black needs to extend to get rid of the second eye. When white goes here to Atari, black forces capture with this move and then throws in. And then black comes back to connect, and now white stones are going to die. Problem number 357, black is again looking to capture the white stones in the corner. What's his move to do this? Black's move is to play here, and if white connects to make an eye, then black will go here. This is now self-Atari, so white can never take it, however black can. If alternatively, instead of connecting, white goes here, then black's move is here. Uh, because again, white can't play here because it's self-Atari. If white connects first, then when black connects himself, this is now Atari and those stones. Um, similarly, if white connects here, black's move is still here. These are now in Atari, so even if white connects, they're still in Atari, which means black will capture. So that is it for another set of intermediate problems. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.